Okay, before I um, start then, it's probably worth mentioning, obviously I used a stasis hunter with overload ninja stars. If you didn't have a hunter leveled up or uh, unlocked for stasis, you could replace, uh, you'll see I use a scout in the primary to clear adds. So you could use a bow in the primary with an overload bow, um, which would give you the same effect. So, uh, so obviously don't worry if you wanted to do it on a different class. Okay, so the empty tank is the uh, Master Lost Sector before they delete it from the game tonight or tomorrow. Um, firstly, as you can see, my gun's invisible, as fucking always. So you can see aiming down sights is an absolute pain in the ass um, when you want to do precision shots. So this is how I have to play 90% of the time. Uh, even my body's invisible. Look. That's what you guys look like when I play with you. Just uh, predator bodies. So anyway... Um, yeah, Master Lost Sector, was it recommended power, 1350, yeah, I'm worried about that. So um, the main thing to pay attention to is the burn, is solar burn. Um, so you get 50% solar damage outgoing and you take 50% of solar damage. But everything in his arc, so you don't have to worry about that at all. There are shields, uh, arc shields, two arc shields uh, right at the end. I don't think there's any others. Um, and obviously barrier and overload, so just to run through my gear. So we've got Stasis Hunter with a Dusk Field Grenade. Uh, that's good just for slowing things down. Particularly when you stun champions, uh, you know all this anyway. Um, a Scout. I've got Minor Spec just to clear up the reds. Hard Light for the Arc Shields. And we can also switch that to Solar for um, for the Burn and Andy Barrier. And then the Ascendancy Solar Rocket Launcher for the bosses. Got boss spec on that as well. And the champions. The, what we got on the head, uh, Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder. Anti-barrier on the arms. You don't need to run overload on the arms because obviously we're not using a bow. Uh, arc resistance. It's worth having a arc and sniper on that. Just because there are quite a few snipers. Um, I've got a lot of mods for melee, so I get my melees back a lot. So you might find you just have to wait in between rooms just for the uh, the melees to fully charge back up. Um, but I got obviously the mods on there, and on the cloak is the seasonal mod for um, ninja stars against overloads. So that's what we're going to be using the most. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, even my menu character is invisible. Awesome. So yeah, we'll load it up. Hopefully my guns will come back. Um, you go in with full super, full heavy, everything. So that, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, let's go. Now, as soon as you load in, there is a overload champion come up the stairs. If you're in the menu, you're going to die. Um, you can switch your hard light if you're quick to, uh, to solo, but you don't have to do it now. I'm not going to bother. So we're going to wait for him to go up the stairs. Stun him. He's always lagged. So rocket, dodge, rocket. That will reload two in the mag. Switch the hard light now to solar, just so it's ready. There's going to be another overload on the decks just here. So same on him. One, two... Reload that. Obviously, you always reload everything before you go in. You know all this already. Uh, use the scout to kill everything you can. It's worth using these little uh, exploders if anything goes behind a wall or anything like that. You might want sniper resist on. Uh, maybe melee for the end with the dogs. I'm pretty arc. Just out. So you basically just want to clean up as much as you can from here. Which is a pain in the ass when they're tethered. Uh, so the other option is we'll go across here. Use that as cover. They spam grenades like fuck, like that, as you probably know. Uh, so yeah, maybe like snipe resist and arc resist. And when you kill them, they drop these little grenade things. Little landmines. So what you can do is... Yeah, they spawn pretty bad here. You can come up to here and use this as cover. 
and you can either wear that down with the uh, the hard light. You can use rockets. Uh, well, we've got three. Yeah, you, you could use a rocket on the barrier just to take the shield off, and then maybe clear some ads or um or listen to this ship music. You can do this flawless as well. It's, it's not that difficult, to be honest. It's just tedious, especially when they hide behind things. Or when they get tethered. So yeah, you could hit the barrier with a rocket launcher. That'll take him down to half health and take a shield off. Um, but I've only got three rockets, and we need two for an overload that's going to come out in a second. So the other option is to come down here. The grenades are so fucking annoying. And then basically you just work your way round. You can either go this way and hope they come out of the tether, if you're really lucky, or go all the way across here, and then work your way round. There's another sniper up here somewhere sometimes. That doesn't help. So obviously solar burn is going to give us an extra, what is it, 50%. So yeah, you can use rockets, you can use a scout, whatever you find is best, but obviously you just gotta bear in mind you need the rockets for the next bit. So once he's dead, you can just clean up the ads. Scouts are great, because obviously you can hide back. There's a sniper down on my left somewhere. There he is. And that should be all of them. No, there's one. Okay, so what I like to do, obviously clear these so they don't get in your way. What I like to do is switch to, no, you don't need to switch for this. Uh, rockets, so dust field grenade on the door, <laughs> hit the button. I think I pressed it, and then, yeah, then when he comes out. Normally you can let them teleport once first. You get so he's dead. So we've only got one rocket, which is a bit concerning. Hopefully we'll get some more from these ads here. You can ninja star these. Uh, sometimes it goes around the corner. I guess it didn't this time. And hopefully these are going to drop some fucking heavy. Because we really... There it is. Because we really need some heavy. And two rockets isn't going to do it. If you go forward and then back, they'll jump out. There you go. Ideally, you want the two melees charged up now as well. Why is there no heavy? Fuck's sake. Okay, so we have. This is three champions. Remember that. So you got a barrier there, two arcs. You can stay here. So you can maybe take him out. But that um that arc will do a lot of uh, a lot of the work for you. Keeping it on solar, get the damage buff. You do get bonus damage if you bounce the hard light bullets. Um but there's not really anything to bounce it off. I mean you could take out the Arc go first, but then all the focus from the barrier is going to be on you. Switch to arc. Right, and then, once he's dead, we're going to move him pretty quick. So we're going to want to switch this back to solar, if, I, if I'm not fucking dead. 
run up here, get the rocket ready. Wait for these bastards to come out. Wait for quite a few to spawn. Like that, then you can do all of them. Stun the overload, dodge reload, hit them again, finish anybody else that's around. Chuck a dusk field over there. There's gonna be some dog. Oh shit, I missed. Kill the dogs. Uh, if you need to reload, you can. Fuck off, you little bastard. And then use these plates as cover. So obviously that guy's there. We're gonna. Normally, what'll happen is the dusk field. You can kill the dogs straight away. And the dusk field will um will keep him frozen. But once this guy's dead. It'll be boss time. The problem you have with the boss is there's a uh barrier egg servitor and they um obviously they tether the boss, but they also tether sniper shanks, which is a really fucking nice. Oh, we've got some more heavy there as well. So we grab that, super those bastards. Then you can use the side series cover. You basically just throw everything you got at them, really. You see how the dust field um, stopped the barrier going back up as well, then. You have to watch out for the boss a little bit there. Oh, fuck. See, now you can rocket the boss like that. There we go. Oh, got some ammo. And then finish the champions at the end. I'm going to take that sniper out. Do a one of them. There's a sniper, I just have to avoid that. That's two snipers. So normally if you take the, the barriers out first uh, and kill the boss last, because as soon as you kill the boss, the enemy come out of there. So you can deal with them after you've killed the uh, champions. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it. It's, um, like, what, are we on 10 minutes? And then you get some fucking useless loot. And obviously that's flawless as well. So you get uh, two triumphs done. So yeah, easy beans. Woo! Um, if you've got the time before reset, it's worth doing just to tick it off before they delete it. Happy days.